Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Mount and Blade Warband. Today we continue our journey with Gilbert Tigerclaw to uh, recapture the throne of Swadia. Uh, last time you saw how we sort of tried to go into a tournament. We all end and uh, it didn't really go well for us. Um, it didn't go well for us at all. Uh, so I'm going to continue uh, doing this uh, sort of... Um, going over to um, people's areas um, and tournaments there's only one left at Tulga so let's try to get to Tulga as fast as we can where is you Tulga it's over there still in uh, this Kirkut territory Turkut territory scares me um, here we go so last time I told you guys that I was only going to Holy crap, looks like the Kurgit Lords are going somewhere important. Uh, but last time I told you that I was going to sort of do things the peaceful way. Um, or, you know, not the peaceful way, at least the honorable way. And, um, you know, how you become a king and how you do things in Warband is quite... Um, it's quite a mystery to a lot of people. And not only that, uh, how you... Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, good. Not only that, but... Um, since I'm playing diplomacy, a lot of people, when they get diplomacy, they don't know really what to do or how to get their uh, stuff going. I'm actually going to stay here for the night just because I'm afraid of all the bandits. But um, all right, let me save, even though it's not like... All right, here we go. So before we do that, yeah, let me just sort of explain to you my uh, general plan and this is going to be the premise, really, of how we try uh, to do things. The first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to a bunch of Swadian lords, um, and I'm going to try to increase my relationship with them. I'm not going to become uh, a lord of the current kingdom uh, of Swadia, at least not yet. Uh, I'm going to uh, continue improving my relations with them, and then I'm going to find a front, say the Kyrgyz versus Swadian front, or the Rodox ver versus Swadian front. I'm going to find a front where Swadian villages are getting attacked, and I'm going to respond with my own unnamed armies. I'm aiming to have something like 80, 100 troops maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more, some companions, and then I'm going to fight back the faction that is attacking the Swadian. So let's say the Rodox are attacking Swadia, I'm going to attempt to fight them back, uh, at least on one front, and win. And when I do win, I'm going to capture one of their own castles for myself, and that is when I'll establish my own kingdom separate from the kingdom of Swadia. Now, because I'm going to be at a good relationship with the rest of the Lords of Swadia, uh, and I'm going to have companions in my party, I'm going to be able to set uh, to set up my own Lords, to set up my own fiefs, and eventually I'm going to start spreading back into Rodok territory, pushing the Rodox back, because I think the Rodox were part of Swadia uh, at one point, so we're going to recapture their lands as part uh, of the new kingdom of Swadia, which is going to be my kingdom. Now, 250 days into this game, I don't know if you knew or not, which is a long time. Uh, the actual king of Swadi, I think his name is King Hal. The King Hal something. <laughs> I forget. He actually dies. So, that's a great time for me uh, to use that good relationship that I have with the lords of Swadia so they can vote me as king. Uh, and once you actually have your own sort of like lords, uh, you can create certain tasks like you can have one lord be a really good leader in battle have really high tactics he'll be the marshal you'll have one lord have a lot of persuasion and intelligence so they can be uh you know the diplomat and stuff like that so it's gonna be good hopefully it'll go the way i want it to go so here we go more tournament fighting and this is going to be a slow start uh, for uh hopefully a very long and thought out series so let's see uh, what we can do here and the reason I'm doing this now is, of course, to get the money I need to build some force to get better armor. It's really the best way to get money, in my opinion, without, you know, without having to go around raiding uh, caravans and stuff. We're never going to sink to that. We're never going to raid villages. We're only going to attack castles and target lords. A lot of archers. I 
hate how my throwing skill is so low. I can't. There we go. Killed one. Killed two. Oh, that was so close. They're all archers. Truly, this is a Kirkus tournament. Uh-oh. This could be troublesome. Need to close the distance. Come on. Oh man, I don't have many javelins left either. This is so bad. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them all up. Gotta make these shots count. Oh, he killed her. Well done, sir. Well done! Alright, come on. Pick up the javelins. There we go. Have 13. That should be enough to deal with these two. There's one. <laughs> I poked him with the javelin. Seven more. Oh no, what, what? I keep pressing tab thinking I'm in multiplayer. Ow. Yes. Victorious we are. More bets on myself. I hope I don't get like Archer. Oh, god damn it. Why are you using javelins in melee mode, you fools? I'm stationary, even though I'm a bad archer, the, the aim will be a little bit more stable. But damn, do these things drop. Such a horrible archer. Come on. Yes, that's one. Holy crap. That did so much damage. Oh, crap. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. As soon as possible. Ugh. Gotta aim higher than I would usually aim, just because... See, look how much there's more drop than you would expect! Holy crap. No, no, no! Oh my god, that guy saved my life! And now he's gonna kill me. Fucking son of a- Ugh! Oh my goodness. We lost so much money. Oh my goodness. This is- This is- This is horse shit. This is- I'm not gonna lie. That's horse shit. Yeah, that is- That is- That is total horse shit. Okay. The problems? I'm gonna get the hell out of the Kurgits area because their tournaments are for Figits. There we go. I need a tournament where I get Serenids and the Rodox have made peace. That's not good for my future plans. Looks the Kurgits have been looting the the Vega countryside. More Vega lords. Okay, now we're gonna head back into the coast. I think this is the northern coast. It could be wrong. There we go. But like the the toughest bandits uh, and sort of raiders are I, I find here, like um, the sea raiders. I think they're called, and then. The Kurgit Raiders were like the, the strongest the strongest ones. Like the Kurgit bandits, they're so strong. So 
so hard to deal with. Let's go to word trig. And if you're wondering how I'm skipping this uh, quickly, it's control space to go faster. But you gotta be careful that you don't get caught. Enter the arena. Lol. Are there any tournaments? A Riva Chegg. Good. Good, 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 good. I think Riva Chegg is indeed a... Wait a minute. Is it a Rodak City? It is a Rodak City, isn't it? No. Where is it? Where is it? Riva Chegg. Oh, it's on the coast. We passed just by it. It's disappointing. Alright, let's turn our scopes and go. No, it's actually not far at all. Good, good. I love Nord tournaments because you get an axe and you get a shield. And it's perfect. Here we go. This is our chance to make money. Oh, come on! That's the worst thing they could have done! That's the worst thing they could have done! Oh my god! I didn't even know there was another team! God damn it! Ah! My buddies! No! Oh, I didn't even know there was another team! <laughs> Gilbert is off to a very bad start, my friends. He is he has big dreams. He wants to establish his new kingdom. Bring the rightful throne back to its rightful owners. Yet alas, we cannot win enough money in our tournaments because we keep getting killed. Holy shit, is that a spider? Indeed. That is a spider. Find like a little tiny spider hanging from my desk. That is so weird. Oh, okay. So, what was I saying? Oh man, I didn't even know there was a third team there. There won't be any time, any tournaments anytime soon. So, what do we do in a time where there isn't uh, any tournaments? Well, we get more recruit. Oh shit. This is not good at all. Like, I think I'm gonna get... Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take the field. Where... Where's my little flag? There's supposed to be a little flag. I've been trying to figure out why. I'm gonna station my troops... Back there. Behind the trees? I don't know why there isn't. Actually, let's come here, gentlemen. This is gonna be like so bad. Jesus. I can already tell. Okay, infantry. Uh, let's move over. Let's move over there. I want them to be in a sort of that location. So over there. So I can come around from the trees. Oh shit, there's the enemy. Good, good, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Stand closer. Oopsie. And now let's give them special commands. Uh, let's have the... I keep pressing escape. Let's have the archers on... Uh, no, 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 no. The archers on special orders. That's weird. They're coming for me. Okay. I'm on a horse, fools. You should be going for the... See, look how well-armed these sea raiders are. Uh-oh. Holy crap. Good, good. Good. Charge them now. Good, good. We're gonna we're gonna rock those three people. That's one. Good. Hold this position. 
Run back, run back, run back. Let's draw them around and do the same thing. This is why the trees are helpful. Good. Yes! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Move! Move, horse! <laughs> good. Good, good. Pick them off one by one. Look for people without spears. That's swordsmen. Oh shit, these trees. Holy crap, that's a big axe. Holy trap. I did some damage to him. My crossbowmen are doing good damage. You need a better horse, that's for sure. I am a Swadian noble, you cowards! they're just following me come on archers do your job do your freaking job okay everyone move right there all right this is it this is gonna be the engagement Yes! Victory is ours! Men, we have triumphed against the bandits! Yes! <laughs> oh, look at all this loot! Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at- we're gonna make a shitload of money. We're gonna make a lot of money. There's another Sea Raider group here. Oh wow. Footman. And I leveled up too. Okay. Let's go to my character tab and next thing I want to let's see. I gotta need more intelligence for that. So I could go for more intelligence or make myself a bit better. Hmm. Hmm. I like looting uh, from these people we fight just because it'll probably give me a lot. And let's make my pole arms better. And I'll give myself this so we can hold more stuff in inventory management. Now I need to get out of this area here. It's very dangerous with these freaking. Nords are at war with Swadia. Holy crap. Okay, let's see if I can armor myself a bit better. Good, good. That has one resistance and 100 size. This has seven resistance and 105 by 72 size. So the header shield is a bit bigger. And it actually does uh, better against... What about swords? My sword does 24 swing damage and 19 thrust damage. 
This has the Nordic sword has better swing damage than the one I have. Um, since I'm a horseman, swing. Wait, which one is longer? 95, 95. They're the same. Okay, good. And boots probably would do me better. There we go. I actually have some form of armor now. That's great. That's good. Now we need to go to a city and sell these goods. So I can feed my men and get more men. So yeah, um, some people said in the comments last time that, you know, I just needed some Swadian Knights and everything would be okay. And I'm very well aware of that, that Swadian Knights are very powerful. But I'm not going to have my army uh, completely composed of Swadian Knights. That's not something I am going to uh, be wanting to do. Uh, just because I don't want the game to be super easy. Uh, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, I've sort of cranked the difficulties up a little bit. So, you know, it's it's going to be it's going to be pretty interesting here. And looks like this guy is ripping me off. Masterwork longbow. This is going to be a good sell. <laughs> Fine, I'll forgive you with that 10 dinars. Head back. Right, let's see if we can get ourselves a good horse, even though being in the lands of the Nords, that's probably not the best place to get a horse, because my horse right now, 41 speed, 42 maneuver? Really? He doesn't feel that well. He doesn't feel like that. Maybe it's because my riding is just too low? What's my riding at? Nah, that's why. I need more riding. Okay. So let's ask... Again, I need to get my money somewhere around six, five thousand, something like that. Win a couple of tournaments first, and then we can think about um, getting troops together. No tournaments at all, so we're gonna go recruit people. Let's visit the tavern in Wurchig. Let's take a walk around their streets, see what's going on. The city of Wurchig. On the coast of the kingdoms of the Nords. Hmm. What's in here? It's a shop. What's this? That looks like the tavern, does it? Yes. Les Alettes. To pass the time. Well, what is it do you wish? To pass the time of the day with a fellow traveler, if you permit. Very well, I do not mind. My name is Lazalit. I am the second son of the Count of Jeroia, of whom you have no doubt heard. Having no inheritance of my own, I came here to seek my fortune in Calradia, training men in the art of battle. Unfortunately, the lords here in Wurchig has no taste. That's bad grammar. Has no taste for the discrepancy. Decip this wow, I, I read that as this. What? I'm just going to stop. Here in Burchig has no taste for the disciplinary methods need to turn rabble into soldiers. I told him it was wiser to flog them now than bury them later, but he would not listen, and I was told to make my services elsewhere. So if you know any of... So if you know... Why can't I read? So if you know of any commander who believes that his purpose is to win battles rather than pamper his soldiers, I would be pleased if you directed me. I might be able to use you in my company, good Sir Lazalet. I would be pleased to ride with you, at least for a little while, for pay and share of any loot. I am a skilled swordsman, and I can also instruct your men in fighting, but I warn you that I do not care to fight for a leader who is lax in discipline with his men, for in the long run they will not respect a soft hand. Indeed, I agree, good Sir Lazalet. Good! I will be happy to hire someone like you. Ah, uh, one last thing. I would ask for an initial bounty of 400 dinars before I join your command. It's my principle never to enter someone's service without receiving the payment I deserve. 400 bucks? You know what? Sure. Come on along. Ransom broker. Book merchant. Mercenary swordsman. Now we go. Lizalis, tell me more about yourself. Welcome back, friend. So, do you want me back yet? Good, give me a few moments and I'll prepare. 
Okay. We will leave and hopefully you will be with us. Good. So now in our party, we have the Zalet. He is infantry. Let's talk to him. How do you feel about... Tell me your story, I suppose. You know that I aspire to be king of this land. Captain, as you may know, I helped train the garrison of Dirim. One of their number has lately been in touch with me and suggests that if we were to visit him, he could pass me information on events within the kingdom of Swadia. I am willing to do this if you can spare me. While it is a great disgrace to be a traitor, there is no less honor in making use of one. Hmm. Indeed, Mr. Lazalet. Indeed! <laughs> it is a great honor to be a traitor. But there, it's not a dishonor to make use of one. <laughs> this guy is just what I needed. <laughs> Hold that off for now. But I want to tell you something. I suppose you know that I aspire to be king of this land, Lizalit. Well, sir, the heavens have instituted a hierarchy in this world. And normally, I would have no truck with usurpation. But I also think that the kings of this land are weak and sorry lot. Not worthy of the name of king, and that leaves the crown free to be taken by a better man, such as yourself. Would you support my case, then? I would indeed, sir. I think you can unite this land, and then we'll be able to raise an army such as Calradia has not seen for many generations. Swadian lances, Vigar archers, Rodok spears, Serenid swords, Nord axes and Kurgit skirmishers, and take it over the mountains to subdue all the lands that the Calradic emperors once held sway. Please, go on. Give me leave for a few weeks, sir. And I will let all the worthy men of this land know that you are the one to unite not just Calradia, but all the other Calderic dominions, for according to my thinking, no one should be king here unless they have the capacity to rule the entirety of the realm. And you alone have demonstrated just the capacity, sir. On second thought, stay with me for a while, Azalit. We're not ready to go there yet. We're not ready to go there yet. But we will use your skill later. His equipment. He doesn't have much. He doesn't have much at all. You better not see now. Look what Lazalet gave me. He's been he's giving me more loot, more tactics, more wound treatment. And he has got a spotting skill. So if we go to party and go to Lazalet and talk and uh, what can you tell me about your skills? You can see here that uh, here are his attributes. Um, see, look at that. He's a four trainer, so now we're training our men extremely quickly. Uh, and uh, he's got some leadership, which is good. Good stats as well. And this is a good companion. We found ourselves a good companion. He's probably going to be my marshal if ever I uh, choose uh, or if we ever succeed in. Okay, so. Since we are at war, since Swadia is at war with the Nords, um, if I want to support Swadia, I can. Let's see if I can look at my diplomacy here. Um, courtship relations, faction relations. This is what I wanted. So let's see. The Vagars and the Swadians have truce. The Swadians and the Kurgits are at war. The Swadians are at war with everybody at this time, except the Vagars. Holy crap, Swadia. The Serenids are only at war with the Swadians, or have truce and pieces with most people. So the Rodox and the Serenids are doing well with themselves. They're allied together to fight Swadia, so Swadia needs a new leader now for sure. This is a good time for us to be intervening, but first I must raise my men, raise my army count. We must grow stronger. And I am going to try to remember uh, sort of like a voice for every single one of my companions. Uh, if I fail, I'll fail. Do you see that fortress up there? On the spur of the valley is Miralla. I spent a winter there some years back trying to train the Lord's men. Tell me more. 
I say trying because, in my opinion, Vigas don't take well to discipline. Finest archers you ever saw, and good riders too, but they have no stomach for fighting in ranks. The skills serve them well enough against Gurgots and Nords, particularly when they can hide behind walls. But Serenids can match them arrow for arrow. And I've seen Swadian knights cut through Vigas like a knife through butter. Now, Rodak's spear wall is designed to stop a Swadian charge in its tracks. It usually does. If anyone were to ever eat to unify this land of ours, I'd sign up to serve them, free of chars. I'd put together an army of Rodak spears and Nord footmen on the flanks and Vaga archers in the front. Take along some Kurget scouts to find and fix the enemy and some Swadian lancers and centered Mamluks to finish them off. I'd like that army over the mountains and make the whole world kneel to Calradia. Of course, that's what the emperors thought. And in the end, the tribes took away their empire. Indeed, Lizalit, you are well versed in the lore of this land. There's a big battle here. Happening between a Swadian caravan and Jarl Harald's party. I would love to help you, caravan. But alas, I am weak. I am still weak. Oh. Dangerous, dangerous lands. Be careful when in these trees, because any time you can be attacked by bandits. Okay, good. We're out in the open. Avoid the trees, men. Avoid the trees. Let's see if Amir has any recruits to offer. You'd think that these uh, little villages at the sides of the Kingdom of Swadia. Oh. See what happened there. I think this castle might have belonged... Wait a minute. Was it a fight in a Viger city? Yeah, it was. I'm just... Okay. So I think we were going to here. Ehel... Ehelerda. The names are weird. It's looted. Oh no. But why? Oh. Look at this. The Swadians prepare for war, or so it seems. Their lands are looted. Their armies are weak. Their king is nowhere to be found. Oh, Swadia, how you have fallen. But we'll take it back. We will take it back. So we are direct descendants. Look at their parties, 24 men each. God damn. That is a shame for a display. All their villages are looted. Man, Swadi must be suffering right now. We're gonna go back to this village and camp. So let's camp. Uh, I can read a book. So, let's wait here for some time. Good, it is the morrow. More militias. Good. Let's travel to Uxal. And perhaps here. Tournament Master. Hello, I'm Gilbert Tigerclaw. Sargoth. Revaidan and Nara. Sargoth, Revaidan and Nara. Sargoth. Revaidan is up here, I think. And Nara. I'm not gonna go to the one in Nara. Uh, we're closer to Thar Sargoth, I believe. So, we will go to Sargoth. And let me check my time. We are just about... 35 minutes in so that's gonna mark the end of this episode i hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far um and look out uh, next week or maybe sooner uh, for more mountain blade